I thought that since I'm here and since there are a lot of things to do in my house rather than just sitting there around and crying that I am bored or something like this I think that the nicest things to do is just entertain you with my stupid stories of my stuff like I don't know about you but I just don't like to throw things away just because they are torn a little bit so what I'm doing is whenever I have time I'm just like you know sewing here and there so I'm just like going around seeing if everything is okay and you know step by step repeating everything like that every every day so right now I have the time why not Okay, so as we are all at home and we are all bored and um, which day is it? I don't fucking know. I don't look at the calendar. I literally uh, thought that I'm just gonna put this in here. I literally thought that I will tell you about one of my vacations. So I am not that kind of girl that has super much money for the vacations. But once I get into vacations, girl, you will not see me. So I'm gonna tell you the story about how to do not go on the vacation with people who are motherfucking stingy. Ah, by all. Okay, so. What happened is um, I had like a bunch of friends in Milano and uh, they were, let's say that they were wealthy enough to, you know, permit themselves a vacation every year and this time I thought that I will join them because that was my first vacation after, I don't, I, I think 10 years or something like that. So I was like, okay, cool, perfect, you're going, I, I want to go to, we basically wanted to go to Sicily. So if you know, Sicily is an amazingly beautiful island. If you will ever want to go to some island in Italy, go to Sicily. I'm sorry for everyone else, but Sicily is just base. Sicily is love. Okay, so everyone was like, pretty chilled, a part of one guy. So he was a director of one of the banks and he joined the last minute, but he was like one of the people who wanted like, you know, um, lead, the, lead the group. So I didn't have anything against it. I was just like, okay, bro, you wanna lead, you lead. So um, everything was nice, everything was fine. Everyone just gave their uh, share for, you know, um, booking the, the flights, blah, blah, blah. We are going to Sicily. We take the flight, we have our shuttle, and at the boat, you had to take like the boat from uh, one of the cities, like you land from Milano in Sicily, and then from, from there, from one place, we went to Isola Eolie, which you have to take one or two boats, okay? Depends from the, where, where are you from, like where are you uh, starting your journey? Okay, so at that point, this guy, I will not reveal the name because he's quite known, this guy like give everyone the like Wikipedia uh, print about the Isole Eolie and I have a boat sickness like I am vomiting like fuck so I was just like vomiting and like you know I was like oh, I, amazing and he's like look look at the island so I'm like Bleh. <laughs> so I was vomiting as a cat like for half an hour or so I vomited my soul, it's true, I'm sorry, but like, I don't want to edu-colorate, I, I just, I am who I am, I have the sickness and it is what it is. So he was like, no, but you have to read it, you have to read it. I'm like, I don't care, I, I am gonna die here, like in five seconds, what kind of reading? I don't even know if I will, you know, read. He's like, no, no, you have to read it, you have to be informed, I'm like, I will arrive, I will see, uh, uh, it's vacation, uh, you know. So he he started to be like annoying at this point and I was like, mm, okay. Because I, I just, 
you already know what it is i hate when people say to me what to do whenever i don't want to do it i will not do it okay cool perfect so we reach uh, we reached one of the isolates like we, we reached one of the islands and from there he's like guys don't you worry i organized everything so i'm like okay he organized everything means that he organized the travel and everything so he's like pay attention right now we are going to the hotel and i'm like mm -hmm. <laughs> sweet at the end of the story in like 15 minutes or so we were like in group of 10 so pulls up one of the you know ape ape is like um tempo indian tempo i don't know if you if you have in mind indian tempo ape is a small very small truck very small truck very small ass truck so it, it was like you know he presented this as like the uber drive luxury and all of that bullshit and at the end of the story ape comes and you're like okay that's only for me and maybe the girls and the other one like where is the car and he's like no no we we all come here okay so this guy was an ex uh, uh i think basketball player or something he was two meters 15 or something high he was like fucking tall okay tall as fuck and then everyone else were like normal people like me and you but he was like and then he like he didn't diet so he basically was huge i don't say obese but he had his like 20 kilos more than he should weight and that basically went on his knees so he got injured and all of that bullshit i know because he was annoying me for all of this fucking vacation he he was telling me the story of his life that i actually didn't care about but okay i was there for vacation okay whenever i'm going on vacation i'm just like girl bring me in bring me out but i i just i i just want to have my vacation what the fuck so basically okay we are loading in 10 in this motherfucking tempo which was a horrible thing to do because at the end of the story he was the only one out so the tempo bring all of us in the hotel in the bed and breakfast and he was out because he was the he was the biggest one so the tempo was overloaded obviously it didn't even start it so as we we went into hotel hotel was amazing hotel was great i loved it it was so cute the small cities in um you know uh isole the islands was so beautiful oh my god like you have no idea you have to go there and the food mm. so every time that we went out obviously everyone paid for themselves a part of him because i think that he tried to kind of you know uh be the VIP of the story and he's like oh so every time that we were like out he everyone was cool with prices with everything we, we just like went out to the small restaurants like you know seafood and everything we don't see it every day we don't have it every day right because Milano is, is just it, it, it's a nice city amazing but you will not get the fresh fish there the fresh fish you will get on the islands or near the sea logic okay so no one had any kind of problems a part of this guy every and each time imagine to have vacation of 10 days with a guy who is always unsatisfied and the hotel is too expensive and the food is not fresh and the food is too expensive uh, he was pretty racist like everyone was just like fine with everything he was pretty like you know racist about this and he's like no because here on the, on south of italy everyone's are lazy they are coming to north and then they they are like uh stealing our work and all of that bullshit and i'm like listen 
people who are lazy right now are serving you food so shut the fuck up because they they are gonna like fucking you know sneeze into your food or something like literally and i i would not be like i i would not blame them because if someone uh, would be that kind of racist with me i would fucking like slap the shit out of them literally but he continued to you know like complain etc so every time that we like uh, started to eat or something so we were in several bed and breakfasts and every and each bed and breakfast he woke up like at six o'clock in the morning and he literally banged on the door on every and each one of us and he was like okay wake up because we have to dive we have to go to swim okay sorry vacations I want to sleep okay i don't know if i'm the only one bitch of here that wants to sleep but it's motherfucking vacations i want to sleep i just have to sleep okay so basically what's happening is that the end of the story do balls as we say and uh, everybody started to literally hate him <laughs> And me in front because I was just like bro and he was trying to you know like so a part of that literally this the, the next thing is that whenever he was waking up he literally was the first one to eat and let's call him mr. X so he was the first one to go to eat at bed and breakfast and he literally ate full shit that people served I woke up like at 9 and literally there was nothing else to eat apart of some fruits that like waiters were like oh my fucking god what's going on here and I was like um sorry for our friend we love you so you know um then he was bossy for every and each kind of things that's just like another thing that i didn't like and another scene that i didn't like is that he was stingy whenever we went outside we were eating uh like things that granita granita is just like you know very very cheap ice cream let's say it's very cheap it's like one euro two euros max but it was very good and we don't get that so everyone was just like eating granita all over and over again so he was the only one who was drinking beer and he was like oh you're spending one uh, one euro for granitas while you can drink beer I'm like why you drink the beer every and each time and he's like because the beer it's a liquid bread so yeah instead of eating he was like drinking Beer because the beer was less expensive than food okay uh, I don't say that I was face palming myself thousands of times but yeah I was near because everyone else were like what the fuck <laughs> we took this guy <laughs> we regret that I'm like eh? okay so in the middle of the vacations we went on the tour and uh, we wanted to go on one of this like very special uh, places it was one of the black sand shore okay and at that point it was very very like the sun was very high and literally it was 50,000 degrees and he's like he was the one who was like no no let's go let's go this is uh this is the black sun sure we will never get to see it anymore and it, he made that like oh my god if we don't see that today we are gonna fucking die tomorrow and the, the, the seaside shore fucking will will disappear so we are like okay so everyone took the normal bike so we wanted to just like go with five bikes okay so five people and everyone obviously saved their asses to go in uh, like in two on the bikes that they took and i was the only one left with this guy so he's like don't worry i already organized everything and after like five seconds he comes out with this 50 cc muppet okay <laughs> 50 cc we call that in italy as very very like very cheap possibility to move and if you are like 60 
uh, kilos and you're a girl, meaning if it would be only for me, I would literally go there. But if you're a guy of 180 kilos plus my 60 kilos, uh, you know, my pet, like this small thing, <laughs> It, it, it would be a little bit too too much for that and I'm like listen bro this shit will not will not go and he's like no no everything will be okay and I'm like no trust me this shit will not even go he's like you don't know anything you're a woman I'm like I don't know how to drive. If I knew how to drive, bitch, seriously, I would just take this mopad, which just fucking push him out, and I would go along. But I was like, stick to this guy. So I was just like, but, but if you think that you are smartest, let's just fucking do it. Mm. So he sits on this fucking small mopad, you know, Vespa, the smallest Vespa ever. So have you seen uh, like um, a bear on the cycle? in like any kind of abstract movies etc yeah that scene obviously when he sat on the Vespa whatever there was no place for me at that point and I'm like bro there is no place for me and he's like yeah 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 come 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 so I had to just grab him like a fucking koala and my ass was like literally out but still we started to go down and till we were down that's cool everything is okay suddenly after that we had to go up so imagine the scene this fucking bald bear going up on the fucking small vespa me behind and the muppet started to like to um, throw out some kind of steam or something i i don't i don't know and you see these two idiots with this Muppet on this fucking road with the steaming fucking Vespa going around and I was like, oh, we're gonna, we gonna, no. no, and he's like, don't worry, and then pa, and there was some explosion and the Vespa stopped <laughs> and suddenly the Vespa, we were like on this kind of hill and the Vespa started to go back. <laughs> As we go down, some guy on the Harley, he just passing by and he's like stopping the, the, the bike and he's like, oh my God, can I help you? I'm like, yes. He's like, no. I'm like, yes. And I literally was like crying. I'm like, please just help me. I have to go to that place, etc. He's like, yeah, yeah, jump on. I'm like, bye. So I left him there, pissed off as fuck. Because, I don't know, like, if some people just feel entitled to do shit. So I left with this guy. After that, he was my enemy number one. <laughs> I'm like, bro, listen, you fucked it up by yourself. I never asked you to, to take this kind of thing. And he's like, yeah, but you know what? Shit was expensive. Shit was five euros for one hour. I'm like, I can give you back the money. He's like, no, I'm not that cheap. I'm like, baba, okay. Cut to the next scene in which we are on this motherfucking black thing. And he literally didn't care about anything. He literally went to dive. He took the passage of another person and uh, he reached the, the shore and everything. And we were there, but it was so fucking hot. Ob obviously black captured the, the heat. So it was so hot and we were like literally dying and he was diving and he, he just didn't care about us. So I'm just like, okay, it's not a problem, fuck it. I went literally back and uh, I stayed in the hotel till like 5 p.m. Then I went out. So the next day, this guy just literally started to target me and he's like, so what are you gonna eat today because i seen that you're eating like five times a day i'm like yeah because i'm eating with my money not yours so what the fuck do you want and uh, he started to like you know what pinch me here and there which was like super pissing off at the at one point i just like bro you know what just don't talk just don't talk with me and it started to be awkward because other people were just like you know divided between me and him 
So and and I was not that that kind of person who was like who would be um, taking any advantage on the situation on say or drag people on my side etc so at the end of the story after like this thing that happened uh, people started to just say okay you know what our vacation is totally ruined fuck it let's just go back home and I didn't have that kind of money to you know book the, the another ticket so I had to stay Guess who stayed also, because I didn't have money, but he, as director of the motherfucking bank, had that. But still, he was like, no, we are, we are gonna do it, and we are gonna do it till the end. So, basically, even if I didn't want to see him, we were staying in the same hotel. So, he continued to pinch me, like, day after day for the next like three days at one point i just freaked out and said you know what i i don't know how you're gonna survive this but i am i'm just gonna i'm, I'm just gonna say it i think that you are just a fucking prick and like you have to stay away from me because like literally i'm gonna i'm gonna throw some hands i'm not the the person who would throw hands on anyone but bitch I heard that I'm fat, I heard that you cannot eat like uh, one, like literally we met maybe once on the road or on the street on anything and whenever he saw me like speaking to anyone else he's like oh what are you searching for a boyfriend I'm like who the fuck are you to say to me anything like do I even know you and he continued to like go whenever I go and continue to like you know pitch me like oh you are eating you're eating again why you why you weren't eating at uh, at the bed and breakfast etc I'm like maybe because you eat and before me and there was nothing left so the next situations were even hardcore like he maybe tried his best to say i'm sorry etc but then he ended up to just drag me down into this you know kind of feeling that i fucking hate the guy and the last day we spent literally at the at one of the most beautiful shores and in the world and you know it was just it was just great all day long was amazing and I don't regret it till one point so I cannot stand the the Sun for more than like half an hour and I never go under the direct Sun because the direct Sun will will kill me literally and I mean it so what he did is he arrived to my place where I was like under the, the shelter and he took it for himself saying I'm more blonde than you and like I'm more white than you so I need it for my sun protection I'm like yeah but I'm the one who paid it and he's like yeah I'm gonna give you back the money I'm like okay he's like yeah yeah I'm gonna give you back the money later so he left me under the sun and I got the sun burnt so I came back home literally looking like fucking I don't know like a tomato and then after that I'm like okay so you know what after like one hour I'm like okay bro I, I have to go to the to the hotel and um, I, I have to at least take the shower and he's like you can take the shower here also I'm like here where and he's like yeah on the beach I'm like We are on the beach that there was like this place in which like you could take a shower but i i was dressed so i was not in bikini or something i was literally dressed in a white thing so i'm like i cannot go there and in front of everyone just you know strip and fucking take a shower why i cannot just like go to the hotel and just you know just just ask them the courtesy to like i don't know i i will give them like 50 uh, 50 euros or something they will let me in you not know, to, to take a shower somewhere I don't care and he's like yeah but um, they uh, they kind of said that uh, they don't want us back I'm like what do you mean and he's like yeah so um, I might destroy the water like the loo when I was sitting on it I'm like no 
So because of him, I could not go back to the hotel because he destroyed the bathroom. I'm like, okay. So I had to go back home. We landed at like one o'clock in the morning. There was literally, literally no possibility. So after that, I, I just stopped to talk to him. I'm like, bro, I cannot fucking suffer because you are that kind of person. So basically I went down to the airport and once we took the cab because he's like, don't worry, I at least I will pay for the cab and all of that. Maybe he was trying to like do something in his life and then suddenly whenever uh, we were in the cab and we we were like going to the to the airport he started to say oh you see those people from south they are so disorganized and he started to shout at the cab driver because he's like oh you came 15 minutes late how dare you etc i i i'm paying for the ride you have to be here on point he's like there, there was a traffic so there is a thing that you can just like delay of 15 minutes in, in an island because like if there is a huge traffic I'm sorry but it's traffic it's not dependent on me but I'm here though let's go and he continued to shout and I was like you know the scene is like I'm looking at this guy shouting at this driver and this driver is like nearly to cry I'm like I, I just look at the driver I'm like how much do you want and he's like he told me some some I think it was like 20 euros I'm like I'm gonna give you the money let's go we just left this guy without the the thing and I remember that the flight was in delay so I reached on time and everything is okay and he reached also and he was trying to talk to me and I'm like listen I understand everyone but I don't understand racist people like you cannot treat people like shit because just because you think that you are entitled to do that just because people like people are, are, are not having your provenience fuck you and he continued to like say ah oh, no this is not me this is not me at one point he went to the bar and they charged him like three euros i think for coffee etc so I went and I bought whatever I had to buy because I, I knew my mom will ask me for XYZ things like the sweets in, uh, in, in Sicily are so good, you have no idea When I paid my sum, obviously I, I understand that the, at the airport everything is like uh, a lot more expensive than normal and he didn't want to pay this free free euros for coffee or whatever i think it was cappuccino or something because for coffee usually they are just like giving this one euro etc because whenever you are um sitting like if it's at a bar it's different but when it's uh you are sitting and you are getting served then it's different and everywhere is like that so he started a fight with the with the guy saying that oh you see you're coming to milano and all of, like same racist shit and that guy from the bar called the cops so the last time when i seen this guy is when he actually was screaming at the top of his voice Oli Oli because he thought I'm, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna save this guy and that obviously didn't happen because I was in the in the queue and I said so <laughs> so that's how I like literally dealt with this guy and then I I just got thousands of his calls and say no how dare you leave me alone in this situation you're not my friend anymore I hate you I'm like okay that's okay with me that's cool with me I don't give a shit about you you might die in front of me the next day so I'm sorry to say that it's very rude but I just don't like racist people I just don't like racist people and that's about it we are all humans I don't give a shit like about things that these racist people are just like giving the shit off like what's the difference between people like 
what the provenience okay and what does it mean that you were born in one place I was born in another place how does it matter it matters what kind of person you are and how do you behave towards me and towards other people but between me and you if someone is bitching to us like uh, about the nationality of other people etc etc I I just I, I just can't like be friends with this kind of people and that's about it okay so what happened at the end of the story is that after I don't know how many years he texted me like oh you know we can hang out and I I'm gonna offer you a coffee and I'm like listen you you remember no the coffee for Italians is very important and all of that so it's like a very bad thing that you say that you don't want to drink coffee with us because it means that it's over so I'm like you know what listen I don't give a shit about you about your coffee I am gonna buy myself a coffee and you with your money and all your happiness you just like leave and and be and be happy so this is how it ends so that was a wrap today was a little bit longer but I hope that you will be staying away from the people maybe who you know that they are a little bit racist and stingy so just don't try to befriend them or don't try to be like uh, one of their group just because you think that at one point they might be like fun or etc because remember one thing if someone is bitching about other people race or provenience in front of you whenever you will be out of the of the room the same person will bitch about you about your provenience skin color gender and all of that all of that so just to let you know to like keep away from the assholes okay so have you ever had a screwed uh, holiday if yes comment down below if not even better and as usual like subscribe jingle bell ring the bell kisses see you next time